morning from Geelong, Australia. We start our journey today at Geelong Station. Built in 1856, the station is listed on the Victorian Heritage Register and the National Trust of Australia. Today we are riding on board a V-Line Velocity Train built by Bombardier Transportation. Heading north out of Geelong, it may be no surprise that the first stop is North Geelong, just a few minutes away. After North Geelong, we head past the port to North Shore, an industrial and residential suburb of Geelong. Our route today takes us northeast, around Port Phillip Harbour into Melbourne. Services on the Geelong line run every 6 minutes at peak time to a 20 minute frequency during non-peak. The journey costs $13.80 and takes just over one hour. Tickets for this journey are made using Melbourne's Mikey card. The next station we arrive at is Lara. The seating is in a standard 2-2 configuration. It features an armrest and is well padded. There's also ample leg room. There's storage at the end of the car as well as above. You'll also find that there's a power plug hidden here. There's a cold water fountain at the end of the car, as well as space for a couple of wheelchairs. There are seat numbers above the seat, but I'm sure this isn't used, especially on this route. Next up is Wyndham Vale, our first station in Western Melbourne. And Tarnit, a station that only opened in 2015 and is the site of several new housing estates. Then we head to Deer Park and Sunshine, where we meet with the Metro Line. This is also the site of the worst train crash in Victorian railway history. There are two bathrooms on the train. I always wonder who shaves on a train. Would you shave on a train? Let me know in the comments. Both bathrooms are clean with everything in working order. The door is not locked. Please press the flashing key button now to ensure your privacy. The disabled bathroom is quite big and has a change table. Before we know it, we're at our second last station, Footscray. I 
I love catching the train into Melbourne. You get an amazing view of the city as you head into Southern Cross Station. All in all, the Velocity trains are comfortable, fast and feel quite modern, especially compared to other trains in Australia. It makes heading out of the city an enjoyable experience. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe. It means a lot. Thanks for watching.